I was an ugly kid. And that's- You were uh, not an ugly I kid. I was an ugly baby. How and was John Stamos an ugly baby? My mom had a, um, she, the, the blanket that I was wrapped in, she co- sort of covered my face so the neighbors wouldn't see me. Are you serious? Yes, honestly. She I said I was very homely looking. And what? I said, just tell the neighbors that you got a new monkey or something. <laughs> But she, she seriously, we got, she did. We got to get a pic of that. We yeah, get a, do I, we have a pic of you, John's ugly as yeah, ugly baby? Yeah, can we get baby? a photo of that? But so I think I always wanted to be active. But I, I was fortunate enough, a, um, a friend of my father's was working at the Huntington High in Los Angeles. And they said, do you want to come down and see a movie being filmed? And I was like, yeah, cool. Yeah. Didn't know what it was. We showed up. And there was all these trucks and cables. And that was such such a trip for me. And, I, and, and then I walked in. It was a big gymnasium. And there was this which I thought was toilet paper. I guess it was crepe paper, Hollywood, you know? Yep. But they had all this stuff, and it was a dance, and I go, what, what, what is this? Quiet, quiet, quiet. And then the uh, places, please, and then all these people came out that were, that I think they were supposed to be high schoolers, but they looked like as old as my dad, uh-huh. and they were dressed up, all greased up and everything. Uh-huh. And the director, uh, someone said, yeah, okay, places, please. Yep. And then on the other end, there was this 50s band playing, but they weren't hitting their instruments. I thought, that, that was weird, but I could hear the music. Yes. Um, and then all of a sudden, the, the director, like it was a voice from God, said, and action. These two doors kicked open, and it was John Travolta. And I was on the set of Grease. And I go, that. I want to be that. My 10th birthday party theme was was Grease. Grease Lightning. My story was better. It was way better. Way longer. Way longer. longer. No one has the attention to pay attention to that whole story. But I enjoyed it. I I, I mean, I think I wanted to be active before that. But seeing (laughs) that was like, I want to be that. I want to be that. So you wanted to be Grease Lightning. I wanted to be John Travolta. I still do. Yes. Well. Minus the, you know. Yeah, whatever that is. Well, you know, some are saying, John, that uh, one John <laughs> likes women. The other, we'll cut that too, maybe. No, but you can do maybe do a Scientology joke. A Scientology you know? joke. Well, you tried to convert me to Scientology when we first met. That's not true. That is not. But true. they did with me. I was a, I was uh, in an acting class, and the there was this hot girl. She said, "You know, we're all meeting at this address on Hollywood Boulevard. You know, come after." And I was working at my dad's restaurant at the time. I said, "Dad, I got a car. I got to go." Ah. So I went, and um, it was the Scientology building, and. In um, an early acting class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How old were you at this point? I was point? 17, maybe 16, 17. And they tried to convert you into Scientology? So they brought me in there, and um, there was this uh, guy, and I was guy in the, they said, come over here, and they, they had this e-meter where you're holding these two cans. So I started, you know, hello, I'm you know, like doing <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and there was like, I was doing a, a Peabody in the way back machine, uh-huh. you know, Sherman and Peabody. Yep. And they didn't like that. And then uh, you know, I was just <laughs> fucking around so much. They said, get out, get get go. And they just kind of kicked me out. Oh, my God. So you're telling me that they didn't let you into Scientology because you were messing around too much? Yeah. You think it- So you were too <laughs> annoying for Scientology. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I must have been terrible. Uh, so now, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm an old guy. I've got a lot of stuff. You know, writing that book was interesting because I always said, no, I'm not going to write a book. No, yep. I'm not going to talk about who I slept with. Whatever. I don't, I'm not that interesting. And then as you're writing it, you go, oh, I work with Simon Davis. Oh, I did this. I was Travolta. I did. So there's all these stories started to come to me when I wrote it. So we... 